Okay, uh, let's invite uh, Sumit Vaid of uh, Freedom Financial Planners uh, to join us and take your personal finance questions. Well, first a question from us, Sumit. Uh, uh, understandably, last quarter is tax planning time. So what should be priority for an investor, tax planning or financial overall financial planning? And can we sometimes uh, miss the picture on financial planning by getting absorbed in tax planning? Hi, hi Lata. Thanks a lot for getting me on the show. Uh, See, uh, India is a very unique country where 90% uh, of our investment decisions happen because of tax planning. And, and if you really go mm -hmm. back in annals of any insurance company or a, any such new scheme, mm -hmm. anything which has a, is a tag of you know, tax planning scheme tends to get much more retail response than the normal thing. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's unique to an extent that many a time when uh, investors do tax planning, they try and not understand what's the liquidity impact. So, you know, Indians very easily in order to save that tax will go and lock in money for five years, six years or even lesser or more without understanding the opportunity cost. So it, it, it's unique huh, to that extent. Mm. Uh, what actually should happen is that financial plan is, is, should be a base document for any family. Just like any business has a balance sheet uh, which captures its income, expenses, etc. Similarly, a family balance sheet is known as a financial plan. So the basic starting point for any investment, any kind of financial planning, any kind of finance oriented decision for a family is a financial plan. And that should start well early in the year rather than at the last quarter. So financial planning should be the starting point which should articulate your income, articulate your expenses, articulate your savings which is nothing but income minus expenses. Based on your goals you should invest or decide to invest in products and while choosing product you should figure out whether they have tax saving feature or not. In India, it goes the other way around. Mm. I first mm. figure out which are the tax saving products and then see whether it fits into my you know, financial mm. life in any way. 90% of the time it doesn't. And we get into this trap of investing purely because of tax planning. Okay. Sumit, hi. Thanks for joining us. Between Lata and me, we have two questions to ask you. So very quickly, we're going to try and wrap it up. First, uh, you were talking about the, uh, the products. Uh, in the last quarter of the year, which are the you know, tax saving products that you would recommend the investors to um, take up? First and foremost, get adequate insurance for yourself. Adequacy of insurance is very, very important. And when I say adequacy of insurance, focus should be on term, you know, insurance. Uh, get adequate insurance. After that, move into health insurance. If you're still left out with some savings or some more tax planning to do, then get into PPF, EPF, and other kind of investments. Okay, Sumit, uh, just hold on to that thought. Uh, we've got some statements coming in from uh, Thomas, uh, the food minister, uh, uh, K.V. Thomas. Uh, and uh, uh, before uh, uh, we get for go with our questions uh, from our experts, uh, let's uh, get uh, our correspondent who has picked up about... Uh, uh, okay, uh, she's got two bits of news for us. Akanksha Sethi is joining us. Uh, she also broke the, earlier the story about the sale buyback. Uh, go ahead, Akanksha. First, tell us about sale. Well, uh, about sale, they are planning a buyback in March. The board will meet on the 25th to take a final decision on this. Remember, in September, uh, sale had notified the exchanges that it had got shareholder approval for its buyback. Now, sale was on the divestment agenda, but it was, wasn't prepared for an OFS. So now the government is taking the buyback route. The government is expected to get about 17 uh, to 1,800 crore rupees from this buyback. It is likely to happen at about 85 to 90 per share and is expected in March. It will be a 5% buyback. Uh, sale is likely to do another 5%, but that will be in the next fiscal. Remember, you'll also see the NALCO issue in the third week of March, as well as possibly MMTC, but now sale has been added through the buyback route. Uh, the cabinet had given approval for this year before last, and this is going to be the first PSU, which is going to go in for a buyback. Mm -hmm. At least not soak up investor money. But uh, we wanted to also on the more important issue of uh, uh, the food security bill likely to be introduced in the budget session itself. There was a hope, rather, uh, among uh, investor classes that if the bill itself itself gets introduced in a later session, by the time the expense on the bill uh, occurs, at least it won't be in FY14. But you are telling us that uh, 1.2 lakh crore is going to be set aside? Absolutely. So I learned that from my finance ministry sources as well that they are budgeting for the food bill. They are going to stay in that 4.8% uh, fiscal deficit target. So they are going to make other expenditure cuts. For instance, teams such as NREG could see cuts of almost up to 30,000 crore rupees. But food bill is the next big election idea. This is the plank on which the UPA intends to, uh, 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 you know, build its uh, political strategy for 2014. And it has been Sonia Gandhi's pet project. So uh, now that the standing committee 
Party has given its report. It is going to be introduced in the budget session of Parliament. And I just spoke to the Food Minister, K.V. Thomas, a while back. He said they do intend to get it passed in the budget session itself. Now, the proposals are 67% coverage uh, in the food bill, uh, rupees 3 for rice, rupees 2 for wheat, and rupees 1 for millet per person per month, uh, sorry, uh, per kg, and um, uh, 5 uh, kgs per month to be given. There will be inclusion and exclusion criteria as prescribed by the Planning Commission, but the total burden is going to be 1,20,000 crores. Now, already you have a burden of about 70,000 crore rupees on account of food subsidy, but it includes certain schemes which will continue despite the right to food. So the total burden will be at 1,20,000 it remains to be seen how the Finance Ministry will budget for it. Yeah, this is mathematics. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Akanksha <laughs> Sethi. If it is 1.2 lakh crore, it will be about 1.1% of the GDP. And mm -hmm. we've got these constant promises that subsidy will be restricted to 2% of the GDP. So, uh, you know, they don't have much, uh, you know, elbow room for fertilizer and fuel subsidy. Mm -hmm. As we know, the stated intent is that only 6 rupees diesel price hike will happen. If you take it at 45 or 50 pies per month, it won't even be 6 rupees. It will be perhaps 5 rupees. And, you know, it will not all come uh, for the full year. You're, after all, increasing only 45 pies every month. So it's not on an average 6 rupees. Uh, or 5 rupee advantage that you can get on diesel price. Uh, the uh, subsidy burden will continue to be very high for fuel as well. The maths is not working now to <laughs> restrict the subsidy to 2%, but maybe they have other uh, plans up their sleeve. Okay, finally, that break, we will come back with uh, uh, viewer questions for uh, Sumit Vaid on personal finance. Welcome back to the show. The market has actually come off from the highs of trade. So now 59.40, it's come off about 30 odd points from that 59.70 level that we saw. And a couple of stocks like BHEL, HUL and ITC from the FMCG space are also putting pressure on the market. And uh, even Tata Motors is actually down about one odd percent. There was news earlier in the day that the company has decided to halve its production at the Jamshedpur plant because of the uh, uh, weakening of demand. And um, it's curtailing its um, uh, capex plans as well going ahead in the domestic business that is so Tata Motors is under pressure. The market's actually threatening to slip into the red, so do monitor the situation there. But we've been speaking with uh, our expert Sumit Ved about uh, the year-end tax planning and uh, you know what the strategy should be. Uh, Sumit, we have a caller who joins in. Umesh Kumar calls in from Chittor with a query. Uh, hi, Umesh. Good uh, good afternoon. What's your question? Hi, Namaste. I'm talking about Hindi. Yes, yes. Tell me, what's your question? मैम मैं पूछना चाह रहा था ये जो म्यूचुअल फंड का जो होता है हेलो हाँ हाँ बताइए हाँ हाँ ये म्यूचुअल फंड के लिए जो होता है ये जो अच्छी कंपनी के अलावा जैसे कोई होता है तो इसकी अगर कहीं शिकायत करनी हो तो कहाँ की जा सकती है Okay, this is a very relevant question, uh, Sumit, asked often by uh, many, uh, you know, um, uh, people who call in. If you want to make a, a complaint with regards to a mutual fund company, because so many people feel that they get cheated uh, from many of these private companies, where do you really post your complaint? If you could answer the question in Hindi. बहुत अच्छा प्रश्न है आपका जो हमने पूछा आपने पूछा हमसे कि कंप्लेंट कहाँ करनी चाहिए सेबी का एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट रोल है और सेबी इस मामले में बहुत अच्छा कुछ काम करते आ रहे हैं पिछले एक साल में वो एक जो आम निवेशक है आप और हमारे जैसा उसकी सुरक्षा के लिए ही सेबी का मेन पर्पस है तो आपके पास कभी भी कुछ ऐसी कंप्लेंट हो तो सेबी सेबी की एक साइट है स्कोर सेबी स्कोर डॉट इन आप उस पर जाके वहाँ पे कंप्लेंट कर सकते हैं सेबी के लोकल ऑफिस में जाके कंप्लेंट कर सकते हैं सेबी बहुत ही ज़्यादा रिस्पॉन्सिव है इन्वेस्टर कंप्लेंट्स के मामले में इन्वेस्टर प्रोटेक्शन के मामले में और बहुत अच्छी तरह से रिस्पॉन्ड कर सा है सो 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 सिंपली पोर्ट यू नो माई रिकमेंडेशन विल बी टू रियली बैंक ऑन टू सेबी इन अ वेरी प्रोएक्टिव इन पॉजिटिव मैनर बिकॉज देर डूइंग अ फेंटेस्टिक जॉब विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इन्वेस्टर एंड इन्वेस्टर कंप्लेट टू ड्रेसल Okay, so the uh, the SEBI site uh, that you're referring to would be uh, uh, www.sebiscore.in. No, this is only W. Uh, it's HTTP double slash cores dot uh, gov. Uh, okay, okay, dot, dot in. in. All right, all right. Uh, so that's very important information for right. uh, all investors. Umesh ji, ये आपके लिए एक अच्छा जगह होगा जहाँ आप अपने complaint भेज सकते हैं. Sumit, thank you very much uh, for that extremely useful conversation. We have to take a break on that note. Uh, we'll be back with more on that food security bill and what the government has in mind. Probably the food minister himself in a minute.